how do we know when diet and exercise might no longer be working as it relates to controlling our cholesterol levels? Well, I'm so glad you asked this question, Nancy, particularly right after talking about genetics, because the first thing I wanna do when talking about cholesterol is debunk the notion that it's largely affected by our diet and our lifestyle. While it is true that weight loss, adhering to a healthy diet, regular exercise can lower your LDL cholesterol, the majority of our LDL cholesterol level is determined by our genes and not by what we're eating or what we're doing. And the reason why this is important is because people often come to see me in clinic that have very high cholesterol and they feel really frustrated. Like my diet and exercise didn't work because it didn't lower my cholesterol or I'm a failure because I tried so hard and I wasn't able to get my cholesterol down. The things that what I tell those patients are twofold. First, the benefits of a healthy diet and regular exercise are independent of what happens to your cholesterol. So regardless of what happens to your LDL cholesterol, if you're eating well and you're exercising regularly, you're lowering your risk of heart disease. The second is that it's not their fault. I see you can't pick your parents. So if your LDL cholesterol is high, rather than see it as a reflection of what you did or didn't do in terms of your lifestyle, I see it as an opportunity for a medication therapy that can help lower your risk of heart disease even further.